What's up everybody and welcome back to my series where I make delicious food in my beautiful van that I live in. Tonight I am in a Walmart parking lot, hashtag van life reality, on, on the east coast and it's so hot outside, I'm so moist right now so I've got the door open. And uh, so I figured it would be a really good idea to make some hot steamy chili in this hot steamy weather. It just seems to go together just, just perfectly. Since I'm in a Walmart parking lot and there's free public Wi-Fi, I figured I'd leech off of that a little bit and play some video games while we eat some chili. Why not? But on the topic of public Wi-Fi, I got some news for you. If you're like me and you live and game in a van, you probably find yourself using public Wi-Fi a lot. But what a lot of people don't know is that public Wi-Fi is actually pretty unsafe. Hackers can easily access your personal data over public networks, but adding in Surfshark VPN into the mix allows you to keep your identity safe by encrypting all of your data that's sent between your device and the internet, which ultimately allows you to stay protected while browsing online on public networks. So for me, having Surfshark VPN is a must while gaming in a van. And on top of that, Surfshark VPN allows you to change your virtual location. So if you're not happy with the movie selection that you're getting on your favorite streaming platform, all you have to do is flip a switch and now your IP address shows up in a completely different location and now you have a whole new movie selection to choose from, which is pretty freaking awesome. So if you value your online privacy, I highly recommend that you invest in Surfshark VPN. You can click the link in my description to get 83% off along with an additional three months for free whenever you use my discount code at checkout. Gosh dang it's hot! Okay, so I'm about to make one of the most delicious chilies you've ever had and feel free to follow this recipe. This is straight from my van life cookbook coming 2022. No, honestly, I think it would be really cool if I came out with a van life cookbook. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments because I'm kind of working on it already. And this is the first recipe out of my cookbook called the fine food. Actually, you know what I should do? All right, we're gonna make this official, y'all. The fine food. The official cookbook right here in the flesh, okay? And on the first page, one of the most delicious meals ever. Van life chili. Let's get to work. Okay, so the ingredients we need, we need some olive oil, a yellow onion, three cloves of garlic, one red pepper. Got a knife. All right, so we've got our onion, we got the red pepper, and we've got the garlic. Okay, now we just need to chop up the onion, like so. And by the way, guys, I am not, <laughs> I am not a professional cook or chef by any means. So if I'm doing something wrong, feel free to absolutely roast me in the comments, okay? Time to chop the onion. You can chop it however you like. I personally chop it like this because that's what YouTube told me to do one time. And literally almost everything in my life has been learned off YouTube. I don't know about you, but YouTube was a better teacher to me than my father ever was. Gosh, that got really dark really quick. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, whoo, girl. Okay, I'm gonna start crying here soon. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God. I'm okay, dude. I'm totally good, dude. I'm not even crying, bro, dude. I don't cry. I'm a bro. I'm a bro, dude. I literally never cry, dude. Tears are for weenies. I ain't no weenie, okay? <laughs> Onion is chopped. Now for the red pepper. I'm sorry, dude. If my accents are terrible, I, I can't help it, dude. It's just how I have fun, okay? You know what? I should rename the chili. I called it Van Life Chili at first, but you know what? Since this is happening in a Walmart parking lot, I feel like it really needs to be dedicated to Walmart. Maybe this is called Walmart Parking Lot Chili. I feel like that's way more fitting than Van Life chili. chili. What do you guys think? All right, now that the red pepper's uh, chopped up, we're gonna chop up a, we're gonna mince up a garlic clove or two. Gosh, I hope nobody pulls up next to me because like they would be so confused as to what the freak I'm doing right now. All right, so three gar garlic cloves. You wanna smash that bad boy, peel the skin off, and then dice that sucker. All right, so now once you've gotten all nice and sweaty after chopping the onions, garlic, and red pepper, you wanna whip out your pot. Hi 
highly recommend one of the biggest pots you got because this makes so much freaking chili. And we want to take two teaspoons of olive oil. I just sort of eyeball it because, you know, I live life on the edge. I am looking at this monitor as I'm filming and I just look so moist and sweaty. And it was not like this on the West Coast. But now I'm on the East Coast and I forgot how moist and wet it is over here. And it's, it's like 73 degrees. Okay, so while that oil is heating up, I'm gonna get out my spices. So it calls for chili powder. Nope, that's not chili powder. Oh, it definitely needs, is it cumin or cumin or cumin? It's definitely not cumin. There's no way they would do that to us. Um, we need cayenne pepper. We need oregano. Wait, we also need chicken broth. I forgot to include that in the ingredients. Chili powder, chili powder, chili powder, chili powder. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. I use McCormick mild chili. You can get spicy, you can get whatever you want. This is just what I use. <sighs> right over the food, because uh, there's no health codes in this fam. Dang girl, he look good with his hair up. I mean, like, look. Okay, the hair's up, out of the way. I'm done sweating. Let's get these spices going. Oh, I forgot salt, I forgot salt. Where's that? Where the freaking? Why can't I find anything in this mother freaking van? I swear, you downgrade to a smaller space, you think that you'll be be able to keep up with things better, but guess what? That's not the truth. I lose things all the time in this van, and it's so frustrating. Before we measure out all the spices, I'm gonna throw these bad boys in there and let them start cooking up. Yes! That is a wonderful sound, baby. I got a question, okay? What do y'all call this? Is this a strainer or a colander? Leave the comments down below. Let me know. All right, so you need two cans of, that's corn. You need two cans of dark red kidney beans. We're gonna throw those in the strainer and we're gonna rinse those bad boys. What does the rinsing do? I literally have no idea, but you're supposed to do it. So I just, I'm a rule follower and that's, we, we're not breaking any rules today, okay? You know what, I'm gonna pour the corn in there too. Killed two birds with 17 stones, you know what I'm saying? And now this process is pretty simple. You just run some water over it, make sure they're nice and straight, like, you know, rinse. You wanna rinse them real good, okay? Mm, 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 baby. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so the onions and peppers look pretty cooked down. We're gonna throw in the spices now. Uh, we're gonna throw it in all together. We're gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of dried oregano, two teaspoons of cumin. What did we decide on? C cumin? C cumin, we're gonna do, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do two teaspoons of cumin, okay? Mm, that smells so freaking good. Then we're gonna do one table, or four tablespoons of chili powder, two, Screw it, we're gonna do the whole pack. Do the whole pack, screw it. Then you're gonna mix it up just a little bit for a couple seconds. Make sure all the onions and peppers get nice and seasoned. Gosh, it's like clumping. Ow, frick, that's hot. Okay, maybe I should use this. We're gonna pour in the tomatoes. Then a cup, oh freak, of chicken broth. I'm making such a mess, dude, but that's nothing new. That's just my whole entire life, if I'm being honest. And then another quarter cup of chicken broth. And then the kidney beans and corn. Now we're gonna stir this bad boy up, bring it to a little bit of a boil and let it simmer for 45 minutes or until it thickens. Gosh, dang, it looks so good right now though. I just wanna eat it. I'm so hungry right now, dude. Now I guess I'll clean up this mess. Clean up. Clean up, everybody clean up, clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. Dude, have you guys seen the cyber goths dancing under that bridge? I've been practicing a lot. I hope, I hope somebody's watching me through my window from across the parking lot. That would just be fantastic. I wanna know what they're thinking right now. I have way too much fun by myself. It's, it's, it's insane. All right, we're gonna check on this, see if it's boiling. Woohoo, girl! Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? I wish you could smell it. I really wish you could smell this because this is some of the best chili I've ever had in my entire freaking life. I just realized I'm not timing this, so I don't know how long it's been cooking. I really suck at this. 
So we're gonna let that simmer for 45 minutes or 30 minutes. I don't know, man. Or just just let it freaking simmer until you think it's done. I mean, there's no meat in there. Theoretically, you could eat it now. Go lay down. Go. Go night night. Go night night. Good girl, Millie. So since we are waiting for that to finish cooking, we're gonna boot up WoW and we're gonna just play. Some Walmart parking lots don't offer this, but this particular Walmart parking lot allows me to connect to their Wi-Fi, which is pretty freaking dank, which is really exciting because I can just leech off their Wi-Fi and not use my hotspot data. Why does it take 45 minutes to cook literally beans, corn, and vegetables? That can't be right. I'm way too impatient for this. Woo, girl! Mmm! This smells so good, y'all. I really... Why am I using a spatula? Why did I do that to myself? I need a spoon. Oh, also I forgot that normally I would put avocado and cheese on this, but the grocery store that I went to didn't have avocado, so we're gonna use sour cream instead and some shredded cheese. Ooh, girl! I'm so ready for this. Holy mother freaking crap. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Wow, how am I so blessed right now to have this beautiful presence of this amazing looking chili? Mm -mm. Dang, I love me some chili. Okay, the corn, the sour cream, like it's just such a good mixture of textures and tastes. Oh, dude, it literally is the best chili I've ever freaking had in my entire life. And I, 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 at this point, I'm demanding you to try this chili. I'm demanding you to do it. It's that good. It literally is the best chili I've ever had in my entire life. I'm just being honest. Let's talk about a few things. Why am I on the East Coast? A lot of you have been asking on my Instagram why I had to so abruptly leave the West Coast and my adventures to come back to the East Coast. Well, the reality of that is that I'm now working on a new TV show that requires me to be in Georgia. If I'm being honest, I'm really, really unhappy about being here on the East Coast again. It kinda makes me sad because I felt like being out West and traveling again, I felt like I was moving forward in life, I was progressing, and then I got the call to come back to Georgia and it felt like I was moving backwards in life. And I felt like I got yanked back into my old ways, into my old thought processes and my old feelings and I don't know, I'm just feeling kind of sad, feeling kind of down on life. I don't really know where to put my focus on things. I really enjoy my YouTube channel. I enjoy communicating with you guys. I enjoy my community that I have here on YouTube, but this, this TV show that I'm working on is just taking up a lot of my mental space. It's just hard. Like, I don't really know where to put my focus anymore. If I'm being completely honest, I don't know that I love making movies anymore, which is really sad to me because I have worked all my life to be where I'm at here today. But something just hit me when I came back to Georgia. Something hit me hard. I just don't know that I love the film industry like I used to. Feels nice to be able to talk to you guys like this. But yeah, I'm at a weird crossroads in my life where like, I really wish I could just make YouTube videos full time. I love creating, I love traveling, I love documenting my travels, but I just don't know that I love the narrative side of filmmaking like I used to. When I went to film school, I dreamed of working on movies and stuff. I achieved that dream, I guess. But now I'm just like really loving making my own films, telling my own stories. And it's just beautiful and it feels really good. It feels really natural. And I just want to keep that up. I'm dedicated to this TV show in Atlanta for the next 10 months. And I'm gonna work on this TV show and I'm gonna enjoy it because I do love the show. I love my job, but I think it's time for change for me. And that's been really hard for me to accept. And it's been really hard for me to think about. I don't know where this video is going. I don't know what I'm talking about. Life is really difficult right now, and I've always been honest with you guys, and I've always been honest with myself. And I try to pretend like everything's okay, but sometimes everything is not okay. And right now, everything's not okay. But I'm working through it, that's the main thing. I'm working through it, I'm not giving up, I'm moving forward, and I'm pushing forward as much as I can.
And that's what this is. I wanna talk about my problems, I wanna let them be known, because it is important to talk about these issues, and all my life I've been so uncomfortable with talking about my weaknesses. But that is no more, okay? I feel very weak right now, and I just want everybody to know that, okay? I just want everyone to know that I feel really weak, but I'm fighting my way through it. And I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna find happiness again. Because that's just how I work. I never give up. Whenever I want something in life, I always go for it and I never give up. And this time is no different. Thank you.